Welcome back folks, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw the level 40 Dilophosaurus from Jurassic World Games. So this is going to be a <clears throat> pencil drawing, so get out your mechanical pencil, your school pencil, whatever drawing device you have. Uh, well, a pen will work just as well. We're going to be doing a full body drawing, so that means from the side, it's going to be a side angle. And before we uh, dive in deep with the shading, we are going to put a quick outline. So obviously the frill is going to be blown out there. It's got a very elaborate head, so you're just going to make this quick outline. As you all know, the outline is so we get the proportions right. And it may not look like much at the start. This really so we can lay out our the design for the drawing. The arm, the leg right here. We want the balance to be right in the center. I have this leg tipping back. We're not going to see the other leg on the other side because this is going to be a completely like symmetrical drawing. So we're looking at it from one side. So at level 40, Dilophosaurus has got quite a few additional things. So um, all of those of you who want to comment that this is not realistic, uh, I know it's. I'm aware that it's not realistic. And it's level 40, so it's basically, basically it's not, it's like a dinosaur with much, like with <laughs> tweaked genes, I guess. Um, it's not like the original Dilophosaurus was supposed to be like. So yeah, now that we have that nice outline, we're going to put the floor here. I'm using a reference image, by the way, so I hope there's no copyright thing against drawing Dilophosaurus. But yeah, let's get this dive in deep. I just got this new eraser um, for Christmas. I got a set of erasers. And I think, I forgot the name of it. It's called like the, let's see, Professional Eraser M-O-O. -O. That's what it's called. Very helpful eraser. So if you have, I mean, all, almost all erasers do the job pretty well. This one's nice because it, I don't know, just, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it doesn't, like, it doesn't smear, it doesn't catch a lot of, um, of lead on top of it. Like, some erasers turn black after a while, after you use them a bunch. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're going to start from left to right so we don't smear. I'm assuming you're right-handed. I'm sure, I am apologize to all the left-handed people out there. But, yeah, let's start by making this line right here. You can just copy that. We're going to bring it up with our pencil right about there. This is going to be the top jaw. Now we do the bottom jaw. We're going to bring in the another line here. Once you've done that, bring a line down at an angle like so. Let's bring it in like that. So there we have the top and bottom jaws. Take your eraser, erase the messy lines that we no longer need. <clears throat> and now let's put in the eye. Put in the eye right there. Right there. And then we're going to have a little bit of an eye ridge. Sort of like an eyebrow, but in dinosaur. <laughs> in dinosaurs. They have almost all the carnivorous dinosaurs have sort of like an eye ridge. At least that's the way I like to draw them and the way they look in most reference images, including Jurassic World the game. So it's almost like a mini T-Rex head, but never mind that. We're going to put the the f little frill that go is on the sticks out on top of its head right now. It's got like a little cut there. Very, very large frill at level 40. It gets well, each dinosaur basically, if you're not familiar with the game and you're just interested in drawing Dilophosaurus, each dinosaur gets more elaborate at at each level so at level 40 is the max level so it's expected to be really show off I guess so we're gonna put some shading in here not really shading actually this is more of the little pattern it has on the head I want, if you guys have dial off source level 40 please comment below I congratulate you if you do that shows real commitment 
Also, if you would like to post this drawing on my Google Plus community afterward, I highly recommend you do so. It's called Dinosaur Art. And yeah, I might leave a link below so you can click on that and post your picture when you're done on the community. We have a bunch of members now, around 210. And all of them are phenomenal artists. I, I know a bunch of you who are watching have already joined. So I've been, I love to see you guys, your guys work. It inspires me to do more videos because I actually, then I actually know that people are drawing. Because a lot of people say, oh great job, you're so talented. But I say, yeah, but it would be really cool if you could draw the drawing. And you become talented as well. So before we go any further, we're going to put in the pupil there. The eye. Put some, maybe put a few wrinkles. Definitely put some shading around here. It's got a cavity at the back here. A lot of people have called my art shrink-wrapped dinosaurs, as in that I show all of the, um, all these cavities on the, in the skulls. But that's just how I've grown up drawing dinosaurs. So that's how I'm going to draw them in my videos. So that's a little bit of refinement here and shading along the lip. That's, that'll make your drawing look more realistic. And of course you can add some scales by making little round circles along your drawing. And also, if you'd like a subscriber shout out, I've done it several subscriber shout-out videos, and I, lo I know a lot of people enjoy having their name called out on my channel. Um, you can comment below and ask for a shout-out, and I'll put you down on my list of people that I'm going to shout-out next shout-out video. I've done two already. So I'm going to put the teeth in there on the top jaw. Put the teeth in the bottom jaw now. This might be my first time drawing Dilophosaurus on my channel. Definitely drawn it before. The one from I've drawn the one from Jurassic Park on several occasions. And the realistic one. So if you guys would like a realistic tutorial on how to draw Dilophosaurus, please comment below and I will try and get that to you guys. I know I'm, my realistic drawings are never as popular as the ones from the game, but they're... They are scientifically accurate, so it's fun to make something that's accurate every once in a while. Let me straighten my paper a bit there. Might zoom in a bit so you guys can see, get a little bit of a better view. And now that we're at eight minutes, we better pick the pace up a bit. I know some people like when I draw slow. It makes them not have to pause the video, but I, if I'm going too fast for you, just pause the video. Then you can catch up. So now with the frill, now I'm assuming you put this little, I don't know, looks like a cape, sideways cape. Um, yeah, once you put this little outline, we're going to add the spikes and refinement, because this is the main, the main feature that you'll notice when you see Gylophosaurus. So we're going to put these spikes, come out of the frill. Definitely a dangerous looking dinosaur. See, we're gonna make that outline a little bigger. It's got little spikes in between, so we're gonna put those in as well. Except for right here, it doesn't have any, apparently. Put four spikes in between there, and four between here. One, two, three, four. And up here, they have five. One, two, three. Four or five. So I could choose to draw the one on the other side. That might help a bit. I'm only going to do it for this. I'm not going to do it for the legs or arms. But it does, for the frill, it does give it a nice look. <laughs> I apologize if my voice is sounding a little different. It's because I've. It's kind of. I sort of got a cold still. School got cancelled today. It snowed in the area. So yes, 
Looks it's really cold right now. But even the cold doesn't stop Danny the dinosaur drawer. So yeah. Let's continue putting some shading on these spikes. The way you do shading is basically just the lower half of the, each spike. Just color it in a darker color and then do a little bit of shading on the side to give it a round look. A lot of people say, how do you shade? Like, can you teach me how to shade? The biggest tip, I've told you guys this in quite a lot of videos, but yeah, just squint in your eyes at the reference image you're looking at. I know in a YouTube tutorial you can't really do that, but you can take like a, a reference image you'd like to draw, squint your eyes, and you'll be able to tell the dark spots from the light spots much easier. So that's a tactic I'm using right now. Okay, now all we have to do is draw this pattern it has. Basically it has a lot of lines coming out from the neck there. Or from right behind the head. And these continue up to this line here. Like so. And to give this little I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, this umbrella shape. We want to give it some more texture. And also we want to show where all the spikes come in. Put some lines like so. That'll give it a better look. Yeah, this look, it's looking very nice now. <clears throat> All we have to do is, yeah, give it a little more shading. Then we can move on from this spot. As you can see, I'm slowly adding more shading. So I'm just rubbing my pencil around the area until we get that funny look. <laughs> On our Dilophosaurus. Let me zoom in a bit more so you guys can see a little better. And a lot of you, I did a few gaming videos of me playing Jurassic World the game. Some people commented, oh, how do you do that? Like, how do you record your screen? It actually took me a while to figure out how to do it, but you just, if you're gonna upload onto YouTube, I guess, um, you just go onto the YouTube gaming app on your mobile device, and that's how you can do it. Other, like other people can have gamers usually buy software to do it, but yeah, I just got the YouTube a gaming app and that worked pretty well. So yeah, now that we're done with the frill, we can move on to the body. The neck is basically not showing at all because it's hiding behind the frill. Put the back in, it's got these little spikes protruding out of the spine there. And they slowly die off right about where the hips are. Put in the arm and shoulder. This really looks like a T-Rex head. I apologize for making it look so much like a T-Rex. It really does look like a T-Rex wearing Dilophosaurus costume or something. <laughs> I hope they bring Dilophosaurus back in the Fallen Kingdom Jurassic World movie. They probably won't. They already have a great variety of cool dinosaurs, including Carnotaurus, Suchomimus, Baryonyx. I'm not sure. Well, Suchomimus is not confirmed, I don't think. They definitely have Baryonyx, the Indoraptor, because Colin Trevorrow even said it was a Baryonyx, so I think on one of his Instagram posts or something like that. But the new Jurassic World is actually not directed by Colin Trevorrow, it's directed by another guy whose name escapes me right now. 
So yeah, we're putting in the fit hands right now. The three clawed hands. And the way to make your hands realistic is by giving them this little padding on each finger. You'll see your finger has it as well. Gives it a nice look. And also you can add some scales or little refinement lines on top of the hands. And the color of the claws in black there. Erase these lines we no longer need. So yeah, let's put I'll put some more shading on the arm here. Now once we're done with that, it's got like a really it's a deep chested dinosaur for its size. Another line here to separate the spine from the belly. If you want to go about it correctly, we'll put these little refinement lines that show where each vertebrae is, basically. Speaking of vertebrae, I'm planning to do a, a few skeleton tutorials. How to draw T-Rex skeleton. How to draw, yeah, different dinosaurs. I've done a Spinosaurus skeleton and T-Rex skeleton in the past. And both of them proved quite popular. So I can do a new T-Rex um, skeleton video. Because that's just the most popular skeleton to draw. And I could do like Carcharodontosaurus or Gignotosaurus skeleton that look pretty much the same as T-Rex. And I might do that actually. <clears throat> Before I started YouTube I had a whole sketchbook full of skeleton drawings I did of dinosaurs. And they were actually quite good. So I need to get back into doing that. And I'm going to do so by doing some YouTube drawings with skeletons. I might do a few time-lapse videos for your enjoyment, then a few tutorials for the serious artists who have subscribed to my channel, because I feel like only about, I don't know, maybe 40% of my, my viewers actually draw the dinosaur, a lot of other people just want to see what Danny the Dinosaur drew and they want to see the end result. But I really admire the people who get out their pencil and paper. Whether it's a notebook paper or whether it's a bristle board. <laughs> like expensive drawing paper. I'm really proud of all of you who actually are drawing. Because you only be can get good at drawing by practice. Like I'm not talented at all. I know a lot of people have commented, oh you're a super talented artist. It's not true, I'm not. I'm just, and I'm good at drawing, but the reason is, is lots and lots of practice. That's the only way to get good. There's no magic pill you can take to get good at drawing, it's just a lot of practice. So yeah, right now, enough of me talking. <laughs> I sort of stray from the topic here. I'm putting in the ankle, very thin ankle here. The dew claw goes out the back there. We'll put the feet in. Like so. Got some major racing to do here. This is actually wrong. Let me erase that toe. Should go a little lower. Let's put the claws in there. Dilophosaurus looks like it could be a very speedy dinosaur. Could probably outrun T-Rex or something like that. See, the smaller dinosaurs probably had it better off than the larger ones. 
Because Dilophosaurus could probably hunt down little creatures. Even mammals, I guess. And, but it could also escape the terrors of the dinosaur world. Like, big dinosaurs. And it, the only problem, it could be possibly attacked by several raptors and they could like steal its food or something. But I don't know why they would try and bother killing a Dilophosaurus. So Dilophosaurus level 40 has these spikes coming out of its heel. Very cool feature of it that it has. So that's some shading. We want to make it look like it's connected. Not like it's just high behind there. So for this thigh, really have to put in some shading to make the muscles pop out. Like so. Basically big thigh and large calf, but skinny ankle mean fast runner. This is true with humans as well. Like you will see like very accomplished sprinters. That's what their legs will basically look like. It's really um, thick thigh with a lot of muscle. But then you don't want to have a very thick bottom half of the leg. Because that will just slow down the runner. But having a large calf right here would be essential for like jumping and stuff. So I put some scales in. I really didn't do that much scales, but I should. It just takes a lot of time to do scales. If you want to see like a really good drawing I did with a lot of scales, you can just check out my one of my most recent drawings, the Christmas special, how to draw T-Rex. That one has some a lot of scales. But it's also like the longest YouTube video I have. Uh, maxing about 53 minutes, I think. I admire the people who <laughs> watch a video that long. It's quite a long... But at least it's like, um... It's truthful, because I didn't... I'm not like a lot of people who like would edit parts out of their video when they're drawing. It's like the time-lapse. Okay, we're going to draw scales, so let's time-lapse that part. So the people don't have to wait but then you have to pause the video and it's kind of an instance so right now for the tail let's make that curve line i understand that you guys can't see it the end that well okay so you have we have this line right here kind of an s shape then of course we'll close it in carefully getting smaller that looks very nice. I just fixed this hip a bit. And at the end, before I finish, I'm going to go work a bit on the head. Get that looking a little less T-Rex-like. Put a line through the middle. Have some serious shading. The bottom part of the tail. Color it mostly in with our pencil here. We want to avoid smearing though, so let's erase that. If you're smart, you'll have a paper underneath your hand so you don't smear. So yeah, this dial off starts with a little bit of decorations on the tail as well. You can put those on there. It's got like little spikes adorning the tail. So remember, this is not an accurate drawing. If you'd like an accurate tutorial, please comment below. I'm sure a lot of people have fun drawing this unrealistic dinosaur. Let's put some refinement lines here. The top half of the tail. Like so. There were some like bird tracks in the snow. 
this morning, and it looked really weird because they look like dinosaur tracks, pretty much. Except for, like, the back claw that sticks out on birds. But it looked pretty cool. Actually, like, I made a few dinosaur prints in the snow. Look pretty cool. So now that we're done with shading, I'm gonna go back to the head because it's driving me crazy that it looks too much like T Rex, like a T Rex head. Let's move the camera a bit. So let's go back to the head. Basically, what, what I think I need to do is change this part. This part. So yeah, don't don't change yours if it looks good. I'm just chasing, changing mine a bit because it looks too much like a T-Rex. Let's put the teeth back in. I think what we need to do is give it a bigger eye or something like that. It looks much too much. It looks a lot like a T-Rex. The race around there. Make the eye look a little bigger. And maybe not put as much as much cavities. So yeah, that looks a little better. Uh, not that much better, but it's it's okay. The other thing looked more realistic, but at least this doesn't look as much like a T Rex. To me, at least. <coughs> um, excuse me. So yeah, we're gonna finish up this video. I hope your dialogue source looks equal to or better than mine. So yeah. Actually, I have one more thing to say before I say goodbye. I know a lot of you subscribe, but I would also recommend you turn on notifications. It's that little bell looking like button next to your subscribe button. And if you turn that on, I, you'll be able to get notifications quicker every time I put up a video. So yeah, see you guys later. Leave a like, a comment, and be sure to subscribe if you've not already done so. Thanks so much for watching.